Welcome back to CRB Trains. Now that I'm loaded up on caffeine, it's time to go find a train. So there's a lot that you have to put into account when you're going rail fanning. First of all, you need to make sure there's a train coming. That's obviously super important. So the first place I'm gonna to go to is the CC sub, which is local to my area. And we're gonna look at the searchlights and see if there is a train coming. If there's not, we'll go to Melbourne. All right, we've made it to the CC sub. I'm not sure why the searchlights are still here, but honestly, I'm not complaining. Let's see if we've got a northbound. And we do not. All right, let's go check to see if that's a southbound coming. And as you can see there, we do not have a southbound coming. Great, sweet, on our way to Melbourne. All right, well, I'm seeing some pretty crazy stuff right now. I have a mint in my mouth, by the way, so sorry, I guess. Um, I saw this one guy driving, smoking three cigarettes at once, which has got to be some kind of record in one hand. And in the other hand, he had his phone out. So what was he steering with? I don't know. His knees. If you drive and smoke with three cigarettes and text, let me know, because I want to know how they steer, because that was, that was pretty crazy. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys. All right, we've made it to the northbound signals. Let's see what we got. And they were all red. All right, let's check the southbounds. This is actually a big part of rail fanning. Going to places and being left disappointed. So we can only hope that we have a southbound train coming because if not, the next spot I'm gonna go to is Erlanger. Because that's actually a really, really busy line. And that's usually where I rail fan anyway. For the southbound signals, I actually have to get out and walk to them because you can't see them from the road. So we're gonna go do that right now. All right, those signals are red. And those signals are red. <laughs> well guys, uh, this just took a turn. My buddy just called me, told me his engine exploded. So I have to stop by his house and we're gonna I, I don't know anymore. What the heck happened here? I hear a rattling because I think a squirrel got in there and I think he died up, up in that. What? I'm pretty sure a squirrel died up in there. <laughs> How did that happen? Probably crawling up in the exhaust pipe. Oh my gosh. A uh, low tire sensor. Now it threw up a transmission fault. The check engine light was on. Now it's gone. Yeah, but what happened? What did the squirrel add to that? The freaking, like that. Uh, they either that rattling in the motor? Yeah, that's probably part of his brain or something like that. I, I don't know what to say. Sorry for interfering with the train hunting, nerd. This has been a very interesting day. We're back on the road again. We're headed to Erlanger. Well, guys, we missed the train. Of course we did, because this has been a great day of rail fanning. Um, when I got here, look, there it is right there. You can literally see it from here. Look at that. You know what? You have some good days, you have some bad days of real fan. And this was one of the bad days. Ooh, there's a Supra, that's pretty cool. All right, there. No train, but we saw a Supra, that's pretty cool. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you like this new style of videos, let me know. Because honestly, I have a lot more to offer than just filming and not, and not talking, so. Let me know what you think. I'd like to start doing more videos like this. It's more fun to talk to you guys. All right, well, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.